Hi everybody. How's it, it going? It's Alex and Greg here. Um, on the next chapter of our uh, yeah. Exocet build. I'm trying so, to remind myself what we did tonight. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it was mostly. So I did a lot of uh, panel fitment. Yep. And actually, if we go, yeah, if you turn around this side. Uh, so I figured out how the panels went. We had um, to we had to trim off some corners to kind yeah, of get. Yeah. So the welds. I don't know if you can see that, but yeah, so the welds are protruding a little bit here, so I have to cut off some so that the, uh, um, these pre-drilled holes, I guess they're pilot holes, so the rivets, so the rivets yeah. they line up with all the tubes. So I had to trim a little bit here, uh, a little bit down here, yeah. some off of this guy, and then this tab was poking out considerably. So we have a few fitment issues with these panels. So the back, we, ones, the back ones are perfect. The back ones are perfect, so like, no the, issues yeah, we just, they just drop right in there, and it's like, spot yeah. on. Yeah. Well, clamp yeah, clamp, clamp them in and rivet them, yeah. That one's gonna fall over. No, it's not. No, it's not gonna fall over. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can see here, one of the main problems is our centerpiece here. And yeah, if you look so, here, we have a yeah, we have so, a couple issues. So we if have, you look here, we have like three quarters of an inch of uh, yeah. clearance between the welded in tunnel. And this is welded in from the factory. And the aluminum one. But then if you look here, it's totally butt up against the frame. It's flush. Yeah, it, here. Doesn't, it doesn't get any more hella flush. It does not get any more hella flush. So <laughs> what we were thinking was is that this this 90 degree here has to go on the far side, like the yeah. engine base side so of this tube. So we're thinking sort of like these guys. Yeah, where, where it goes work. down on the outside of the tube. Here, here. Yeah. So, yeah, note, note to you guys if you're building, you slide it in over here first, and then you pass underneath the uh, cross beam and push it yeah. back. So, so, so that this thought. is on the outside. Yeah. So we thought maybe this thing was a similar setup where this goes on the outside, but it's just, not it's just yeah. So if you if you kind of shove it all in, uh, <coughs> shove it in. <laughs> all right, regular car reviews. So like right this this actually winds up quite nicely when I like push it flush like that. This winds up quite nicely. But we still, first of all, we still have the shifter thing that we mentioned where it's fucking third gear every single time. Yeah, you can't get into first, third, or fifth. Well, you can get into half, you can get into first and third. Yeah. Fifth, fifth ain't gonna happen, but. With these two big K macros, <laughs> yeah, if you really wanna try that. Not in particular. So, and then we, yeah, then we have this issue. So, the only thing we were thinking of. And we're not sure if we're supposed to do this or not. We might have yeah, to contact I, yeah, Exo we'll But we we're thinking if we trim maybe like a half inch off all the way around here, like up to here, and then all the way down here. Then we could put this tab on the far side of this bar, like, like this bar here on the engine side, and then that'll move this forward about a half an inch. Actually more, like three quarters of an inch. And then this shifter we dead spot on, and that seems like the right way, but it just seems very weird that you would have to trim like off a half off. inch, yeah. So either, either we're doing something wrong, Yeah. but we're stuck somewhere I here. I mean, it either goes on this side or it goes on the other side. Yeah, and it, and it really seems like it goes on this side. It really does seem like that, but it just, like, this doesn't make any sense. I know maybe there's a slight difference between the NA and the NB Miatas. I don't know. Yeah, maybe, I don't know, maybe this was, like, more geared towards an NB. I'm not sure. So, yeah, we have some weird fitment issues with the tunnel here that we're trying to get worked out. Yeah, this stuff was fine. So the uh, and then yeah, we, we have this gap, and if we push this down, yeah, yeah then, you, then it lifts off too much. And yeah, you this on there. so we uh, we have to figure out what's going on here. Back ones worked okay though. Yeah, those it, were those were totally fine. That was a hundred percent. The driver's side, I didn't even touch. Yeah, the kick panel. If you look at the top, perfect. If you look at the time lapse. I have to trim this guy a little bit. Yeah, this is just a, and just a little bit, like very very small. Oh, it wasn't too bad. And mostly just to account for the welds because those are hand welded. Yeah. But. Anyway, so yeah, we have to figure out what's going on with that. Yeah, that's probably uh, the big question mark right now. Yeah. And then we torque down the subframe bolts. Well, four back here, I'm and then... I say torque down, I say hand tight. Hand snug the crap out of. Um, and then there's like six up six up front, something like that? Yeah. Eight, uh, eight, eight, up, no, no, eight, 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 eight up front, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, it's the two here. You can yeah. see, actually see one of the bolts yeah. on the, uh, the inside. Yeah, the rear one's right here. Yeah. And then two there and then one down there yeah it was somewhere but, whatever yeah, so go. yeah eight up there four in the back we, we just tighten them all down um we, we figured maybe that might be causing the alignment issue because yeah. I, I remember hearing someone saying that once the uh what's that stabilizer beam called yeah i, forget, I cannot remember what it's called there's some acronym for but there's a the, the stabilizer beam which connects their two the subframes BMC, the big fucking bar 
Yeah, it's, it's something like that. It's actually, it is something goofy like that. And, uh... Yeah, we, we figured maybe if we snugged everything down and aligned it properly, we could... Fix yeah, because I, I remember in Exocet forums, like, uh, somebody was having that issue, and I guess the rear and front subframes weren't aligned. Yeah. So all he did was loosen the bolts on that stabilizer bar. And I, I guess, like, stable. take some measurements and then retighten them, and everything was good, but... I don't know if that doesn't make sense. We didn't touch ours. I don't know why it would have come. Maybe that maybe it just comes out of alignment when you take the body off. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, then the other issue is uh, this panel right here doesn't uh, doesn't line up properly. With oh this yes, <laughs> we have some other weird fitment issues. So as you can see, there's some rivet holes here, yeah, so which give you the pilot holes. are meant to go into this bar. But as you can see, this crease here is at the bottom. Yeah, it's of that like, part. It's, by like, it's all by like three eighths. Yeah, three eighths of an inch. I agree. So it's like this almost needs to slide up. But it can't go. Anymore. It can't. It's, it's <laughs> it can't because this bar is flush up against there. So it's like this needs to, this this bar needs to like or panel needs to slide up like three eighths of an inch, such that these pilot holes are flush on this uh, yeah. this piece right here. But then everything goes out of whack. I guess these will be okay. And but these these cross so yeah, ones here, yeah, there's two holes these, here. These two cross ones that go into this guy may not line up if we move it three eighths of an inch. Yeah. And then we'd have to take out more material here and on the corner and on not this corner, but yeah, th th this corner and here and yeah. here, so that we could slide this. Out. So we have some weird fitment issues to work out. Yeah. I don't know if it's I just. Think, I think I'm gonna go rewatch uh, the cross. Cross the uh, yeah. Let's let's go but see what the cross threaded guys did because. Uh, yeah, because oh, oh the gear there. So I prefer second. I prefer reversed. It's tightest. I will kill you. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So we have some weird fitment issues here to work out. That was the the main thing that we discovered yeah, today. Yeah, today was just yeah a lot of fitment. Yeah, back and forth trying to figure out where stuff fits and then tightening up all the bolts. Yeah, um, which doesn't it really doesn't sound like a lot, we know. But yeah, I mean yeah, they, they all can't—they all can't be winners, right? Time yeah. I think I think the, the next time around we'll we'll look at what the cross-threaded guys do. See if they had any yeah, fitment yeah. issues. Yeah, probably, they use it. They use an NB Miata, though, right? I think so. And who knows when they bought their kit? Because we do know, judging by pictures and EXO set forums, that they have been through a couple revisions of this this tunnel yeah, here. So it used to be a circular hole. Yeah, it used to be a circular hole, and I remember them like. They, kind of they reshaped the hole or something. They reshaped the hole or something. At some so, point. I saw that in a form. Like, uh, think about it like a Cartesian plane, like, you know, uh, X and Y. Yeah. Like, it's a little bit off on the X axis. I mean, if you... Just a little bit. If you push it down and... Center it a little. It's, yeah, it's it, it could be zero, yeah. Enough, Close the, enough. The Y axis is way off. Way off. Yeah. If you put it in reverse, it looks like what it should be in neutral. <laughs> Like, that's where it should be in neutral. So, yeah, we, we definitely have some issues to work out. Now, realistically, we can just cut that, and we have no problem doing that. But we still got some weird issues, right? We still have this thing doesn't quite fit right, and we still have... We just have a goofy issues. So, it's like, what do we do? Did we did we do something wrong? I don't think so. Because the panel's just kind of sitting there. It's not like... It wasn't a lot of uh, creative freedom there. Yeah, exactly. So, did we just do that, or is this... Have, did we get? To be stupid there. We, it's true. Did we maybe do something? Yeah, I don't think we did something wrong, but maybe uh, um, this this part like barely passed QA or we don't. We really don't know. Maybe. I think we'll take some pictures and send them to Exxon. Yeah, I think we'll talk to Exxon about them and say, or at least look into this more online where we have a big screen and stuff instead of on our phones, because trying to find this stuff is difficult. So yeah, so. That's that's basically where we're at. Bunch of fitment today. Unfortunately, we can't say we made a ton of progress, but we discovered some things. Oh, and another thing I discovered. Is, here, here, here show, show this. Show this. This this, this car is so white now. Oh, uh, you guys deadlift it. This rear subframe could actually be deadlifted. So these rear tires are on the oh, ground. Oh man, Greg's gonna roll it out. <laughs> so. Oh my God. <laughs> Told you you're gonna drop that panel. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can believe that, you could literally lift the, the rear of the car off the ground. Yeah, do a set of ten. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I can. But. Don't throw your back. One. Oh fuck me! Ten ain't gonna happen. <laughs>
That was two. So yeah, that's, that's a backbreaker waiting to happen. And then the fronts we could do with two people because that's about the engine. So this thing is absurdly white and it, and it looks amazing. We're so happy that. Oh, I just love this thing. It looks so awesome. So. Yeah, this is so cool. We're, <laughs> we're so excited about this. Yeah. Looks beautiful, but we definitely have some fitment issues here to work out. So. We'll, well see what happens. When we, uh, when we get some answers, you guys will. Yeah, pretty much. And that's the other thing. This tab, if you can see it, is supposed to slide to this thing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and this well, doesn't uh, even remotely close. Take you guys through the tube frame here. Yeah, so there's if a little we, bit of a tab there, and it's supposed to slide in, but... And this is butted up against it. So that's, uh, yeah, that's, that's up against the that's firewall. That's flush. And it's off by, like, yeah. A lot, like... Three-eighths of an inch. Yeah, half an inch, three-eighths of an inch, something like that. So, yeah, three-eighths, probably. I don't know. And this is flush. It can't go anymore. And this isn't something we could trim down. Like we can't just trim some material off. Yeah, there. that's that's butt up against it. Yeah, so, so we have to. So either yeah, either we cut over here and but then this... pass this on the other side and rivet it in. We have to. Which yeah. is gonna suck because then we have to that's pick a, up the frame that's a, again. That's a lot of material. Yeah. I don't know. And this piece fits nicely, so it can't be this one is wrong. So we have some weird issues with these these panels to work out. Yeah. And I I, I could this one could this use, one fit perfectly. So I could easily see somebody being like. This is what happens when you buy a, a budget kit car, but, you know, I, I, honestly, I'm sure if you bought a $50,000 kit car, you'd come across a bunch of stupid issues like yeah. this, too. Well, I mean, the guys building the GTMs and the Cobras have yeah, sim so, so, similar small, annoying things. Yeah, so, so funny coincidence, we had a, a car show at work, we have an annual car show every year, and there was actually a guy there that had a GTM. Yeah, that's the, the Factory 5. Yeah, the Factory 5 one that takes the V8 and it's mid-engine and it's... Amazingly awesome and sexy. Yeah, and he said that I was talking to him today, and he said that the hardest part he had—it's very, very similar in design. I'll, yeah. I'll, put, I'll put a picture in here so you can. I'll actually a picture I took of his car. I'll, I'll put it in this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah, well, but it's, same it, recipe. it's very, very similar recipe. Tube, terms. tube frame, aluminum panels, yeah. and fiberglass. <laughs> and he and he said that the hardest part was trying to get all this jigsaw puzzle of panels to. To sit in right, yeah. and that's a considerably more expensive kit car. That he actually, since he he didn't have the option to have these welded in, so he had to like rivet these panels in to the box frame from underneath. And I feel bad for him for that. <laughs> that sounds like a pain in the ass. For three for three hundred dollars, getting these steel frames and getting them welded in is yeah, that's totally worth it. Easily worth it yeah. for three hundred bucks. I think I think it was like three hundred bucks. We'll double check. But I think it was three hundred bucks. Yeah, so easily worth it. Because trying to rivet that in from the bottom, oh, that would have been usually a couple of days. And not a good couple of days either. Like, <laughs> slow progress, things are poorly lined up a couple of days. Yeah. So. All right, so that's where we're at. Unfortunately, we can't say we made a ton of progress, but we, there's a lot of discovery today. So, yeah. that's where we're at. And. Till next time. Till next time. I'm not sure when next time will be, but. Hopefully, hopefully soon enough. And in the meantime, we'll do research, try to figure out what's going on with these panels. So maybe talk to the cross threader guys, maybe talk to Axel Yeah. And then we could have uh, a pretty yeah. good idea, hopefully. Of, we'll have a good answer for everyone. Yeah. So, oh, shit. so, yeah, we'll see where we are from there. And I think that's it for now. Yeah, until next time. Until next time. Bye. See you guys.